Shalom, brothers and sisters. This is Sister Lori Yah coming to you from Kingdom Come Ministries, the Daughters of Zion. Um, it is a beautiful day today. Um, it's just a blessing always to be able to open your eyes and to be able to use your faculties of your body. And I mean, that for, for that alone, I, I like to give the Lord thanks. I'm Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Uh, for all of, you know, I give you all the highest honor and glory and praise. And uh, also to all of those prophets and elders and um, daughters of Zion that are screaming from the hilltops out there in, uh, you know, on YouTube and, um, and other uh, platforms that are trying to get this truth out to the nations. Um, I just wanted to make this short video today. Uh, it's not going to be very long, but um, I was actually um, in, in a Bible study last night and the topic was about... Um, what is required of us and it made me really think because I, I you know we have a lot of responsibility in our lives to the Most High first and then of course we have all of the other uh, things that are required in our life to, to that we have to do we have to work we have to you know keep our keep our homes safe and you know keep our cars running so there's a lot of things we have to do we're like busy but the one thing that is required from the Most High and uh, there, there's many, of course, but I just wanted to share this with you just to sow a seed um, today. And it is coming from the chapter, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. It says, And now, O Israel, what does the Lord your God ask of you but to fear the Lord your God, to walk in all his ways, to love him, to serve the Lord with your God, with uh, to serve the Lord your God with all of your heart and with all of your soul and to observe the Lord's commands and decrees that I am giving you today for your own good so that was the point you know that I was trying to bring out is that we're required to serve him um, so that it so that it because it's for our own good so we have to realize that what we do only what we do for him will last and so as long as we stay in his word I mean we're going to be safe and we will see the kingdom to come now in Ecclesiastes uh, it also states you know the 12th chapter 13th verse and here's the conclusion of the whole matter is that we fear God and keep his commandments um, you know the love of the Most High is keeping his commandments sin is not keeping his commandments so we're required to serve him and keep his commandments so this is very important to bring out because I know that you know um, the Saints hear a lot of oh well the the laws done away with and we don't have to keep the commandments because that's from you know centuries ago and all that well no it still is true today if we um, look at the last chapter in Revelation you know, it's his blessed to see that keeps the commandments so that he can enter through the gates. So that would be the holy city in the end times. So I just wanted to leave with that with you. Um, I'd like to say bless you and thank you, and I'll see you on the next video.